Good morning. It is Tuesday, 9.30 something, 6 or something um, in the morning, and I'm on break from my first teaching vlog. So um, honestly, I was thinking about like sitting and like editing or something, but I just don't want to right now. Like I've been sitting, obviously teaching. So I think I'm going to go out to the living room and do some exercises with my weights um, just because I'm really in the mood to do that. Like I was in the mood to do that yesterday, but then I had to prioritize my knee rehab stuff. So that's what I did yesterday instead. So today uh, is my first day doing the whole, like what I plan to do thing for my upper body for today. So I'm going to go do that. I'm not going to film it at least this part. I don't know how far I'll get, but I'm not going to film it right now just because I'm not dressed properly and I just don't want to, to be honest. <laughs> so I am just going to get out there, maybe throw something on the TV for like on YouTube, not, not like Netflix or something, but just to like chill. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like seriously doing it, but I just want to go slow, do the movements correctly, work on my upper body strength in a way that is manageable since I do have to walk on my hands all the time, sort of, <laughs> um, on my crutches. So I don't want to like ex pre-exhaust for all time and be so sore that I can't like get around. So it's, it's all a balance. But anyway, that's what I'm going to go a little bit. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Do I know how to speak? That is, <laughs> Uh, what I'm gonna go do right now. I don't have that much time. I have like less than an hour obviously until I have my last two classes I was supposed to only have one class and I was so excited at the end here, but Some stupid kid decided to book. Well, the stupid kid's mom decided to book my open slot that I had and I'm very Angry about it to be honest, but whatever nothing I can do about it. So I have two more classes and that's it All right, so I just finished um, a lot of my workout, not all of it. I still have more to go, but I have to go finish my last two classes really quick. I have to also grab some water because I never have water out here because it's hard to carry it around, so I just don't usually. Um, so I'm gonna go back in the room and get set up and ready for my class, my last two classes. I don't want to, but it's almost done. I just gotta remember I'm so close, literally. And then I don't have to teach for two days, so that's exciting. Really happy about that. Yeah, so my workout today felt really good, actually. Um, I'm really happy that I am tracking things again for my workout um, because it will help me visualize and be able to see exactly what's going on, like how much weight I'm able to lift for how long, for how many reps, and then continue to progress that over time. Um, and it feels really good. So I'm trying not to overdo it, obviously. I think I've said that before with my upper body because I do have to work that out quite often when I'm like just walking around as well. Um, but I do, that being said, I do want to still gain strength and I still do want to build some muscle that I <laughs> up there. So, and some leg stuff as well. I did a few things. I did some leg extensions with a mini band with my good leg, obviously. And then I did calf raises, body weight standing with my good leg as well. So my shoulder hurts. I did some shoulder exercises today. So sorry, I can't hold you up anymore. I really don't want to teach. I really, really don't want to teach anymore, but two more classes and you're almost done. So I have to keep telling myself. So anyway, feeling good today. Feeling like my workouts are as good as they're gonna be for right now and they are decent. I do miss going to the gym, I'm not gonna lie. Like really, really miss that. And I wish I could like get a good smash and workout in, but this is what I can do right now and that is good enough, I guess. All right, it is now 11.30 and I am free. Yay! Today I f I'm feeling a little bit, I don't know what the right word is, antsy? I guess antsy might be the right word. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like not feeling sitting in my bed. <laughs> Probably because I've been doing it for four and a half weeks almost at this point. That's a long time, by the way. Anyway, so I still have to finish my workout. So I'm actually kind of thinking about doing it now, even though I was like, I should do that later, like after I eat lunch. But I'm not really that hungry, like a little bit, but not that much. Um, King actually got me two coffees this morning. He didn't mean to, but he like got a cold one and he's like, ah, I need to get a hot one because usually I drink a hot one in the morning. Not that that has anything to do with anything, but it's making me happy and probably why I'm talking 80 miles a minute right now. 80 miles a minute. Do I even know what I'm saying? <laughs> do I even know English? I'm like seriously worried, guys. I don't know how to speak English anymore. Um, anyway, you know what I mean. So, I think the coffee really is doing something. It usually it doesn't do anything to me, but I'm literally talking so fast right now. So, I might just go ahead and finish my workout. I just have a few more things, I think, that I need to do. Um, like I said earlier 
it's feeling really good. So I think I've just been sitting in my bed for so long. Like Sunday, that's all I did, which I needed that day because I was so exhausted from doing all the things the two days before that. So I really needed that to be honest. Like I just needed to rest and that was great, but it like really did a number to my butt sitting on it or laying on it all day. Um, and like, that's basically what I have to do most of the day. Anyway, like I can't do that much. Um, I mean, technically I could go downstairs, but I just, I don't know, sitting down. I don't want to sit down there for that long. It'd just be a pain and I couldn't really take that much stuff with me. And anyway, you don't care. You don't care. But anyway, so I'm kind of feeling like antsy today a little bit for some reason. I'm going to try to take some progress for this today just because I am still on my fitness journey, even if I'm broken. Um, and I haven't been doing that consistently and I think I would like to because I do I have seen my mind shift in so many ways That's really good, which means that I know that I can see results here even with all of this <laughs> At least I'm praying so so uh, yeah, I would like to do that just so I have them because I really want to get fit again like really really want to get fit again. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to find figure out what I want to wear for that and probably do that as well. So anyway, that's today. I'm just going to be checking off to do's. I'm not really doing much for my knee. Um, I don't really have that many updates. Let me show you it today just for kicks and giggles. So this is it. It's not really changed at all. Um, that's my normal knee. That's this knee, obviously I'm trying to get in like the same position so that you can actually see it properly. But yeah, it's Nothing has really changed at all. Still bruised down there. Still hairy. <laughs> That's about it. All right, so King came back kind of late today, so it's dark, obviously. So we are gonna get in the water real quick. It is raining a little bit, sprinkling a little bit, <laughs> which is fine, other than walking around in touches. That kind of worries me, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna film because it's really dark anyway. So yeah, let's get in the water. I think, I don't know how much I'll do, we'll see. Obviously I'm upstairs back in my bed um, after swimming uh, today. I just wanted to quickly say that today was not as good as yesterday for sure with as far as walking goes in the pool. Um, but I've done a lot today. Obviously I did a lot yesterday as well. So um, that's to be expected. And I wasn't really expecting to walk that far. So I still walked quite a bit. Um, I still tried to balance a little bit. My balance was not as good. I couldn't hold it for as long. And walking just felt, I don't know, everything just felt like really stiff like I didn't want to do stuff <laughs> um a, a bit of pain I guess but like I don't know I I don't know if it's pain or if it's like just feeling stiff I don't really know to be honest but it's kind of probably a mixture of both but that's how today went um we wheeled me out there in the wheelchair because apparently it rained a little bit so um and, it, and like I said it was sprinkling right when I got to the pool but then it stopped right after that but it was really nice just to like chill. So I did the walking stuff for a bit, balance stuff for a bit in between some of the walking. And then we just kind of like chilled and talked and that felt really good. I needed to get outside today. Um, I felt really antsy all day today, which I told you before, but just like I am going insane, not being able to do very much. So even though I got in a good workout today and all of that as well, I don't know. I was just feeling like I do not want to sit here right now. <laughs> But I did a lot today. I did a lot yesterday. So I'm just taking it one day at a time. So that is the end of today because I don't even know what time it is. It's not late. It's like dinner time or something. But that's it for today. <laughs> vaccinated so that's exciting um king only ran into like three things pushing me on the wheelchair no big deal whatever anyway vaccine day and that's what's happening today i'm excited about it good morning guys it's now thursday morning i'm like breaking out again i don't know what's going on it is what it is um, it's Thursday morning and we are about to head to the doctor. So today is figuring out stuff for my knee. I'm just exhausted because like yesterday was a lot. Today's going to be a lot. Just been a lot lately, I think. So, um, yeah, we got coffee though today. So I haven't coffee in a little bit. So I'm really happy about that. And we're just going to go. It's 
I'm not going to show too much probably because I'm tired today, like I said, and not that much is going to happen, I feel like. And I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable filming when I'm in this particular hospital either. Um, and everything's just like crazy. So I might grab a few shots here and there, but it's just going to be a consultation kind of thing again. And I'm really praying that we can talk about surgery this time for real and like get it scheduled because I just want that to be done. Like I'm so tired of being in limbo and just like, okay, I'm healing, but I'm not because I'm gonna have to do this all over again. And I'm really not feeling because like there's only so much I can do, but I have made progress, which is a good thing, but it's just like, yeah. Anyway, I have coffee to drink, which, very very happy about. Also, my friend let me this book. I don't really want to get out, but my friend let me this book yesterday. Um, it's by Beth Moore, so it's a Christian book. But I haven't read a good book in a while. It's harder to get stuff here and too expensive, so I can't afford it and I can't do that. So um, that was really nice. So I have this book, and I think I might try to read in a car or read somewhere. We'll see. But yeah, we're gonna get going here. So we got home a little bit ago. Maybe I'll give an update later. Um, for now, I'll just say it didn't go as hoped, which I kind of figured it would happen that way because that's the way this hospital goes. So we came out here to get in the pool again for a bit to work on walking. Um, and also just to kind of chill in the pool as well. So that's what we were gonna to try to do for at least a little bit. So just finished walking in the pool and I'm just gonna chill here and read my book for a little bit. I think I I really miss being out here more and just like sitting here. I used to do that all the time before everything was closed. And yeah, I really miss it. So um, walking today went pretty well. I walked a whole lot farther and longer, which is good. So the beginning, I really was struggling with balance today for sure, but King helped me improve that at least a bit. Um, I was able to walk I started off holding the wall as I was a little I started off holding the wall as I was walking uh, for quite a while and then I slowly got a little bit more comfortable. I also kind of like exaggerated my steps and then when I went back to normal it was a little bit easier which was good. Um, so we took a little video which I'll pop in hopefully. Uh, just it's vertical which is the wrong way but it's okay for now. Um, just to kind of see my progress over time, hopefully. So right now I'm just laying here or sitting here, I guess. And my knee is not very comfortable if it's extended like this either. So I hope that changes soon, but I just want all the fluid to go down so that hopefully the pain will go with it. I think that's what's causing the pain or something. At least that's what my PG said. It is what it is. We're making progress day by day, even if it doesn't feel like it. Um, every little bit of progress is still progress and that's what I'm holding on to. Alright, so it's now about like 5.30 which is why the lighting is not great because it's kind of dark but um, King left like an hour and a half ago to go play volleyball so he is playing volleyball tonight. Obviously I'm not. Um, I just came out here because I'm going to get in a workout even though my day was like all messed up earlier. That's no excuse. I still need to get in some good reps because I'm very unhappy with the way that my health is right now and my body and how I feel and um, yeah, like stuff is important to me stuff as well, but I'm not going to film it because I'm not properly dressed for that. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw some 
motivational stuff from YouTube on just because I want to, um, just to have some fun while I do some things with the dumbbell and also probably some bands as well. So yeah, just wanted to kind of get that update. I know I'm super behind in editing. I'm so sorry. I need to get on that. Hey guys, so it is now Friday morning, 9.45 a.m. So, um, I know I haven't been filming as much lately and I think part of that is because I'm really, really behind when it comes to editing. So I need to like crank all these out, which I'm planning on trying to work on today. We'll see. I know I've been, I've just been avoiding it and I don't know why. Like I really like editing. Just starting sometimes is like the hardest thing when I'm not in the groove of doing it because it is quite a bit of work, but like I really enjoy it. I just have to like get started. And once I'm started, I'm like in it and it's fun. Anyway, so I think that's why I'm behind and haven't been filming as much. And also I don't want to include every little thing, every little detail in here because my videos are quite long as they are. Anyway, so I told you that I would kind of debrief a little bit about yesterday. I didn't end up doing that really because King was around most of the time and I was just not in the best mood after. And I was just, I'm still, I'm still quite angry, honestly. Just that doctor, how he treats people, his patients, is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And it is painful for no reason. And he's a douchebag. So <laughs> I just don't like him. And he makes me very mad. So that's why I just like always get so angry afterwards and don't really film that much because I'm so pissed. And I'm just going to just start cussing and like being really mad. And I don't want that on the internet. So <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of how our consultation went yesterday it was kind of the same thing as the other day we still even though we had an appointment ish they gave us like an hour or something they said from 9 a.m to 9 59 a.m and we showed up just at nine like we were there on time like we yeah we were on the right floor and everything like two minutes before nine or something like that and it was great we still had to wait we we didn't end up seeing him until 11 11 30 close to 12 i don't know it was somewhere like after 11 for sure um so we we still had to wait like forever i did get some reading in though which i think i showed with you sh showed with you which i think i shared with you which is great um that was actually really good and really positive and i've missed doing that actually which is odd i haven't read a book like this in so long because it's just not as available here and it's too expensive and yeah so anyway um, I think I talked about my book a little bit ago. I borrowed it from a friend, so it's really good so far. Yeah, so basically he was like telling me that I should have walked in to the appointment. Uh, King was saying that he probably assumes that I have been doing PT for two weeks, which is not the right thing to assume because that's not accurate. That's not what happened. Um, I've had one PT session and about two days of actually working on my leg with a little bit more than that, like pool work. So like walking in the pool and stuff. Um, and I have made so much progress in literally such a short amount of time, which is really great. Like I can now walk in the pool. Like it's not, nothing's comfortable. Okay. I'm just going to like put that out there, but I can walk in the pool and I don't even have to hold on, especially after I like kind of warm up my knee because it feels quite stiff at the beginning it, it feels stiff always but like especially at the beginning and I feel like I'm walking like a walking dead person <laughs> um but eventually I like after I warm up for for a bit and do it for a bit then I can like not hold on to the wall I practice balancing on my left leg so putting all of my weight on there and just balancing um which is great on the one leg um and yesterday also when I was in the wheelchair I was able to bend my leg quite a bit more um to more properly sit on the seat so like with my left leg on the thing that holds your foot as well sorry that was shaky and i say more properly because i couldn't keep it there the whole time because it was painful um but i did what i could and i kind of just like put it on for as long as i could stand it and then like let it relax and straighten out for a little bit so that was kind of working on um both sides of the knee in that case um and i was just doing that for the whole few hours that we were waiting so i I have made a lot of progress in a very short amount of time and he didn't care about any of that. And he was like, you should be walking. You should have full range of motion and you need all of those things before we can even think about doing surgery, which I don't know how true that is, but whatever. Anyway, things I'm working on, but like he just has stupid expectations and just wants me to do everything from zero to a hundred 
right away which like that's not how it works like i'm not a doctor i don't want to get too far into this i'm not a doctor but i'm a personal trainer and i do understand and i know that things take time and it takes progressions to get to things like if you're a beginner in the gym you don't just like go squat and deadlift like 500 pounds like that would be stupid and that would cause another injury and that would just not be a good idea but I feel like that's what he's like wanting me to do. He literally grabbed my leg and just like pushed on it to see how far it could go. Um, like not easing into it. He literally just like pushed it. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, Anyway, I told you I was angry and I still am. So I am actually sitting out here on the couch right now because I figured out I could lay this table here. I can just like put this table on the couch and it works. So I'm gonna edit from here because my butt is so tired of being on the bed. Um, we'll see how long this lasts, but that's what I'm doing today. I just wanted to give a quick update about yesterday and also a little bit about today as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Let me know what you would like to see. Um, I would like to include more PT type of stuff. Um, that's kind of, it's kind of nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie, especially like an actual PT session, but I'm going to do my best. I am. Cause I know like if I were watching vlogs, that's what I would want to see. Um, like the actual hard process. So, and I know like the stuff here, it's hard for me to film like in my place a mostly because I'm not usually dressed that well, <laughs> because like, why would I get dressed? Um, and also, yeah, it's just, it's hard to film when there's no one else to help me. And I'm like hobbling around as it is. But anyway, I'm gonna try to add as much of that stuff as I can when it's time to. evening king just got home we are going to do some work in the pool with my leg so we actually went over to pool b before we were in pool a this time we are going to walk in pool b we'll see if i can make it the entire length um but it's freaking hot out here so i'm really excited to get in the pool so let's do that <sighs> it feels so good in here nice to just like chill i feel like i've been working my leg out quite hard today so We'll see how it works. It feels quite stiff, so hopefully the water will help me, um, especially with extension and flexion of my knee to try to get some mobility because I think that's what's mostly stopping it right now. So, But it feels so good just to be in here, to be honest. That felt really nice. I'm really happy that it's open again and we can do stuff like this, especially for my leg. Um, but it brings my soul some joy for sure. Um, now it's, it's Friday night. I mean, it's been Friday night, but I wish we could like have some plans, but it is what it is. But yeah, that felt really good. Like, honestly, really, really good. <laughs> social club area because it's finally open again so um the plan is to attempt to do pool uh you know, crutches and everything whatever um we're gonna go out to swim in the pool after that so we'll see how it goes it's hot too so um this morning i got up early to do some work i video chatted with the client it was really good call um that was really fun so is getting the AC turned on, so that's good. Alright, so obviously just finished in the pool. Um, I have been very bad at not um, bringing my tripod down here, so that's why I haven't filmed anything. I thought about it, but I was like, eh, too hard <laughs> right now. So, um, today was pretty good. Just did some knee stuff, obviously, with King helping me. Um, mobility work, and then we walked the whole length there and back again, and that's about it. So, it was good. I know, I'm sorry, it's very 
that way. That's about it. Uh, I have to say, I feel like because there's not really much else going on right now. I am feeling kind of tired. Just it's Saturday, and I kind of just want to chill. So um, I think King has to grab some money from the ATM real quick. So I think I'm just gonna like sit here probably and read for a bit because it's the easiest place because I'm already here. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Sunday and I have not filmed anything at all this morning because I've just been kind of chilling to be honest. Uh, King left to go play volleyball, so I'm here by myself yet again. So I thought I would get in a workout because I didn't get in a workout yesterday or anything like that. Typically I would rather work out probably on Saturday than Sunday, but I think I, I did some like leg stuff yesterday and it just didn't happen which is fine um but i'm kind of in the mood like i just want to get off my butt and we'll actually do something so i am going to actually film it today because i know i haven't been um i actually have been fairly consistent basically what i'm doing right now is doing like a leg my left leg day where i do all the my pt exercises do all that stuff really work pretty hard on that and then the next day is more of an arm focus day and like rest of my body day rather than uh, doing it all every day because that's never a good plan. So today I'm giving my leg a rest because I feel like I've been doing a lot kind of back to back to back um, on a lot of different days. So I kind of need a rest today. It's just not feeling the best. It's feeling really tight when I try to do stuff. So um, I'm going to do that. So I just thought that I would film it today because I know I haven't been. You probably think I haven't been working out, haven't been doing my stuff, but I have been. It's just hard because I'm not always dressed very well, as in like I don't have all my clothes on, so I can't film. But um, yeah, I just thought that I would film today. My shoulder is already tired from holding this phone up, so that's not a good sign. <sighs> Let's get to it, shall we? <music> Besides a quick ab exercise I need to do on the bed because it's just a lot easier over there. So I'm going to do that. I'm like sweating and gross right now, but it was actually quite good. So I was watching um, some motivational, well, first some videos on goals and then some videos on motivation. Uh, really good. I like watching videos like that because it just helps you think, helps you focus on mentality and realize how much your mindset matters in every little thing that you do. One quick little bit of motivation and encouragement I can tell you today is you only fail so to speak if you stop trying and I understand the desire to stop trying <laughs> believe me I understand that for sure um, but you only fail if you stop if you give up if you never get back to it and also a pause doesn't mean that you've stopped and you've given up either um, a pause can mean that you just need some rest a pause might mean that you need to realize that you are stronger than whatever you're going through. And sometimes that takes us a bit. Sometimes that takes us going through seasons of feeling hopeless and feeling depressed or feeling discouraged. And 
I just want to tell you that you can do it and it's okay to pause. It's okay to rest. It's okay to take that break um, away from things and just focus on your mindset and figure out where your headspace is. But you don't give up unless you stop trying. So that relates to my current situation with my knee. Um, and I'm sure it relates to so many other people's situations, whether it's an injury, whether it's a big season of change or whatever. Um, I was going through a lot of that before my injury and now I have the injury on top of that. But I just wanted to give a quick little encouragement um, about that for you today. All right, so sorry, bad angle, whatever, it's gonna have to do. So I'm going to do my last workout really, or last workout, last exercise really, really quickly. It's just a cross body crunch. I'm just gonna crank these out, three sets of 10. Let's go. Work every little millisecond of thought of I can't out of you. So every single rep, if you're worried about, I can't do this, I can't do this, it's too hard, work that out. Rep it out until you no longer think that. Two more sets. set and I'm done with my workout for today for today and I'm happy about that I'm tired now <laughs> all right so done with my workout thankfully finished filling this out really quick um so finished that yay so now I have one more thing to do before I can get back and like do what I was doing before which is just kind of chilling I'm going to go make a drink really quickly, a form of lemon soda, <laughs> sort of, uh, with soda water. So I'm going to go do that and try to carry it back here. So I'm not going to film that, but that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to chill for probably a while. We'll see. <laughs> 